because once they walk away and leave things here, then that becomes an issue. People who are homeless in Champaign have no place to go for year-round shelter. Now their options were further limited after the city started enforcing a public nuisance abatement today. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jessica Coons. City officials say they have found needles, trash, and furniture clogging up the walkways under viaducts. They say it's becoming a health and safety hazard. Notices were posted today at different areas in Champaign, like the soup kitchen, to let people know about the changes. WCIA3's Jennifer Jensen is live for us in Champaign tonight. So Jennifer, how is the city enforcing this? Jessica, today code enforcement workers went around the city talking to people about the abatement law. This is one of the viaducts they came to. And it's here where we found a group of people who shared why it's so difficult for them to pick up and move all of their things when they have nowhere else to go. I just want my life to be back the way it was. Julie Malk's world shifted when she left an abusive relationship. She could no longer afford her apartment, and now she's homeless, living under the viaduct on Logan Street in Champaign. To top it all off, I had family take money from me. So now the home that I could have gotten, I might not be able to get now. She says thousands of dollars were stolen, leaving her here with just a pillow to sleep on and a cart full of the only things she can call her own. There are many others who set up their belongings under the Champagne viaducts, but the city has noticed a problem. Furniture and garbage is clogging up the sidewalk. It's, it's not just trash, there's bodily fluids, things like that. Ne needles have been left behind. Those sort of issues have been cropping up as well. So make it more of a public health issue. Compliance manager Tim Spear made his way through the city to tell people about the public nuisance abatement law. We're not telling them they can't stay here, but they can't leave unattended property here. Mulk says from her perspective, the problem is bigger than mattresses blocking the walkways. What do you, being homeless, notice that's missing here? Shelter for just the homeless, people that don't have the money to pay six, seven hundred dollars for rent. There could be less of an issue if there were a year-round homeless shelter, but that doesn't exist in Champaign. See you at Home Outreach Program has been driving people to other cities to stay at their shelters. It's a resource that's needed. So many of our friends, if they don't have a place to go, they're going to end up um, either on the street, in the emergency departments, in the jails. Director Rob Dahlhouse says they're working to create a permanent shelter, but it'll take time to get the money and support to make it a reality. Meanwhile, people like Mulk have to live a reality like this. People would walk by us and say, oh, look at them homeless people. Like, really? They can't find somewhere else to sleep, you know? I mean, like we were somebody's trash or something, and we're not trash. We just don't have the same cars that everybody else has dealt. The city told me they're also having an issue with furniture piling up at the viaduct on Springfield Avenue. They said that can't be cleared yet because the property is owned by the railroad company. They have been in contact with them, and as soon as they get permission, that will be cleared as well. Live in Champaign, I'm Jennifer Jensen, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Jennifer, thank you so much.